Ooh, what is up you guys and welcome to well our first LBA Wi-Fi battle and yeah look at the graphics mm -mm -mm. really was trying to make this something else since we're doing this on um, well clearly uh, the showdown and not the Wi-Fi battle so I really want a Wi-Fi battle sadly wasn't able to pull that off it doesn't necessarily mean too much though it's very very uh, enticing to know that you know even if you go on showdown you can still make it something like this and I want to do you know the very best to try to um, uh, narrate this game while um, of course being a live ish I mean I, I want to post narrate about having to battle before this uh, quick round about my opponent's team here he's bringing Mew, Star Raptor, Griselia, Registeel, Bishop and Mega Manetric and uh, there are two Pokemon here I was surprised I didn't see. The one was a Breloom that was was on the team, really felt threatening towards my team. And the other one was um, Chandelier, which could be tough for me to tackle. Even though it's very, very, as you guys can see, I have a very heavy uh, design rain team. I should be able to do just fine to some extent. But that's something that I kept in mind. Uh, so with that said, you know, my complete team is uh, Damp Rock Pelipper. Uh, we have a Mega Swampert, which is Mega Formed uh, before we even started. Uh, it didn't matter too much for the game, but it's very—it's noteworthy that it, it, it shows how good I am at making showdown battles, and I clearly have a Mega Swampert to get thrown at it. Uh, also, Bugium C Cabotops, which after once was done, should be able to KO a defensive Griselia. Uh, so that's really going to be super important for this Wi-Fi battle. If I am going to be able to pull that off, I need to find myself a position where Cabotops can pull that off. Uh, Specs Flodius, Outspeed, Breloom, and Bishop. Uh, does heavy amount of damage to everything on his team. He doesn't necessarily resist Moonblast outside of Registeel, which is very manageable throughout the rest of my team, really. Barring, of course, Mega Swampert, who probably can actually do it KO without any issue. Really, uh, that one here is, uh, I do believe, safety goggles Gengar, very straightforward with Will O Wisp, just to be able to match up with, of course, Bishop, which could be, of course, burned, and um, just run out of Gengar as a decent switch into uh, Breloom, even if it goes a Rock Tomb. Uh, that was my initial thought. And the Latias with a bit of a niche set this Wiper Bell. It's uh, pretty much fully defensive, uh, barely any speed, only only at speed uh timid Chandelure. Uh, that's pretty much it with Thunderbolt and we have Draco Meteor. Uh, to get it with the likes of a reflected time to be able to check Bishop in a defensive situation and recover because we need to recover. So yeah, without further ado, we're gonna actually do something like this. And um, not gonna have it super fast, gonna go for normal. I do this very often, as you guys are aware. So, anyway, my lead here was Florius. Um, I thought Florius made the most sense. It deals with everything from turn one besides Star Raptor. I didn't feel he's gonna bring Star Raptor. So, with that said, let's go into the match. Music on, let's turn that off. Um, so, anyway, he's gonna lead off with Mew. That's quite right as we go directly for the Moonblast and uh, it does a fair chunk uh, we do at speed which means it's definitely a more specially defensive variant as it brings in Staraptor uh, I'm going to be forced to switch out here uh, luckily for me I can bring in Pelipper Pelipper has actually if it is a scarf set which is definitely feels like this are has um, duly only a 10% chance of being 2 hit killed by it so with that in mind I decided here to go for Roost as you guys can see he straight out o code me there or 2 hit killed me which is unfortunate but at the same time we do get the situation here to go to Cabotops and go directly for the source stance as his direct response is to Cursealia and I was thinking oh my god yes this is this is good. This is exactly what we needed. As we go for sword stance, we're gonna follow that up with a bug MC. He does stay in, and we actually one shot Chrysalia. Turn five, smack. That's gone. That's over. And <laughs> it's awesome. I mean, that was really helpful. I really needed something like that very early on. So that's really cool. We pull that off. As his next switch in is actually bringing Baxter after starting to uh, lose my attack basically. As his direct response here is uh, his. Um, uh, Registeel. Now Registeel on its own can't actually survive me. I have low kick to be able to one-shot it, uh, but the waterfall is clearly enough, so I can only just keep going with that. And with four more turns of rain or dually tree, I should be able to kill something more before it goes go down. So Registeel is out, and uh, his two defensive shake Pokémon are down. Basically, has nothing defensively that shakes me anymore, which is really good and incredible in every way. As um, we're gonna go for the waterfall and just try to kill Star after his switch on run out is gonna be his Mega Manetric. I have no reason switching out. I rather try to get the ship damage since Mega Manetric does have speed my whole team. 
since I lost the rain, I'd rather get the damage here and then actually I will just follow that up with anything I can because in the end of the day, I won't be faster than Mew. I could possibly be though, since I floor just outspeeded it, but I definitely can't survive a sucker punch from Bishop. So in the end of the day, Kabutop is a very, very easy sack here as I can bring in my Latias. Now, Latias here does not provide anything necessarily here. We're gonna actually speed this up a little bit because my only response here are Thunderbolt towards him. I can't go for Draco because I don't I don't want to be set up fodder versus the Bishop. So with that in mind, I kind of played a game of uh, recovering and just doing ship damage towards Manetric. Uh, he didn't have a good switch in here, and I kind of get what he was trying to do, and quite honestly, I do believe that's a correct response overall. And um, I felt really, really stally here, but at the same time, I was very lucky that I didn't get fully paralyzed, as of course, um, we were as healthy as possible versus his bishop. And the, the thing I wanted to do with this bishop was trying to force him to attack me over setting up if I was whittled down. So with that in mind, I go directly for the reflect type. Uh, we find out directly by that that he's not scarfed, which is good. And uh, reflect type does provide me here, uh, basically so defensively that he can't touch me at all. As he switches his Mew, I go for recover. I can't do anything with this Mew, but I can sack Mega Swampert. And uh, yeah, he goes right for flamethrowers. So that's quite alright. Like decent switch in. Uh, or a move, but Energy Ball is the stronger player. Like I said, I went directly just to sack this Pokemon, so if we free fall here, that's quite alright. Floria should very, very easily now from this point just sweep, because we know he's not a Scarf Bishop, and we also know that Mew does not outspeed me. So, with that in mind, that is actually the complete game. A super short game, and a game that definitely showcased um, how incredible hyper offensive it really can be. Because in the end of the day, the only reason I win here is not because uh, Tyler here plays a bad game. Uh, it's because my team was banking on his defensive responses to look something like this. And I used it to my advantage. Now, I had Pokemon that could check his overall team fairly well. But I was never forced to do so because he was heavily relying on his switch-ins to deal with me just fine. And uh, as you guys saw, that was probably not true. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> that said, you know, I, I'm happy with the game, uh, since it did go my way, and, you know, everything I was prepping for did transpire. Uh, but I really won't leave Tyler or the Portland Timbers here hanging. I am fully aware of that. I, uh, I only, he, he had it brought a different team with Brelum and Chandelor. My game here would have changed significantly, but... Uh, I don't know. I felt I could match his offensive presence, and I did do think I did fairly well through and through. Even though it felt like I was pushed to a corner from a, f a few times there. But all in all, I was really happy with the outcome. And we do able to snag a win here already. You know, a trio victory. Uh, while it looked like I should have been able to done that or um, win a lot stronger here. I really kind of didn't have that in me to pull that off. Losing Pelipper for me really early really made this a lot harder for me. And I really had to beg on Capitus Proudness to use you know, plow of really, uh, and luckily for me, since it was locked in double edge, that was a very high possibility for me of doing so, and that exactly will transpire. So, as always, guys, you know, thank you for watching, and I hope you like this showdown variant here. I hope this works out right for you. If, if you feel like show, this showdown aspect does look okay, I could probably do some laddering with this in mind. Uh, I haven't done it in life forever, but if you guys like this, I will definitely consider it. So, with that said, guys, as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care. Trying to shut this down is not that easy. Bye, guys.